Hello everyone, this is Phil doing another video. This is another video to do with getting uh, GG.com games running on a retro gaming PC, uh, specifically how to make an installation CD. Uh, there are a couple of different ways and I'll do a video for each. Uh, I'd also like to apologize, I noticed on the last video, because uh, I'm capturing everything in full HD, it can be a bit difficult to uh, read what I'm doing unless you're watching it on a full HD display. So I adjusted the display scaling settings so the text should be a little bit bigger and a little bit easier to read. Okay, so we're gonna look at the game Screamer 2. So in this video we're looking at games that are shipped with a CD image based on the bin and the queue format. So. We're using the game Screamer 2 and the first task is we have to verify is this game actually one that uses uh, an image based on bin and queue format and what we do is we just follow the uh, launch shortcut so we right click on the launch Screamer 2 click properties and we can see it refers to the DOSBox file uh, Screamer 2 underscore single dot conf so let's have a look at that config file it's this one here single dot conf and it mounts an image here it's the game.dat so let's have a look at that file game.dat looking at the file size it's very small and that's usually a big indicator that it's a uh, a queue sheet and the game.gog is fairly large so we just open that file and we can see okay yep that's a queue sheet you can see that there's no mentioning of ogg or mp3 files so um, all the audio CD tracks are actually contained in the uh, in, in this file. So we're gonna grab both files and we're gonna copy them over to just a spare folder where we can work because we're gonna rename a few things and I don't want uh, the game to be destroyed. So here we've got our two files. The first task is we're gonna rename them. The game.gog, which is the big one, that becomes game.bin. And the other one, game.dat, that becomes our queue sheet. So we'll rename the game.q. And one more thing, we gotta open the queue sheet and change, change the reference here from game.gog to game.bin. And then we just save it and we close it. And that's it, it's ready to be burnt now. So I'm just gonna copy that shortcut. Lots of burnings programs available. Um, the one I like to use is, is AnyBurn. So you just say burn image file to disk. So I'm just gonna navigate, oh, it's already there. Open the queue sheet and it's ready to be burned. So yeah, haven't put a disk in. And that's it, nice and, nice and straightforward. Definitely a lot simpler compared to dealing with bin and queue sheets that have compressed audio files. Um, I'm showing that in another video and yep, that's it. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave any comments down below. Thanks for watching.